Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is the solve walkthrough for the August 16th, 2024 gas, No Even Neighbors Sudoku by Philip Newman. So we have normal Sudoku rules today, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. And then in addition, we have this no even neighbors rule, which is kind of an underutilized Sudoku variant, I think. So the rule says that you can never have digits that are both even orthogonally adjacent, in other words, directly next to each other. So because there's a two in this cell here, none of these cells that are directly touching that two can contain even digits. And in fact, that's where we're going to start because we can't put any even digits in any of these cells here. Therefore, because we need to place two more even digits, the four and the six in this region, they have to go here and here. And though I put them this way around because there's already a six in this column. And so we're going to start with this puzzle by kind of moving clockwise around the grid with the corner boxes and doing the same thing. We need to place a six and an eight in this region. They can't go in any of the cells that touch the four, so they'll have to go here and here. We need a two and an eight here and a two and a four here. Now let's take a look at what even numbers we can place in the edge boxes. So here we can place a two in one of these cells, a six in one of these cells, except because we have a six right there, we're going to place the six there. We need to place an eight in this cell because of the two eights in rows one and three that see all the rest of that region. And now this two can't go adjacent to the eight, so it has to go there. And the only remaining position that is not adjacent to any of the even digits we've already placed is right here. So that's where we're gonna put the four. Over here on the left edge, six has to go in this cell just because there are sixes that see all of the other cells. Eight has to go in one of these. It can't be adjacent to the six, so it will go here. Four can't go in these cells just by Sudoku, so it's going to go here. And then the last position where we can put a two without putting it next to the four or the six is going to be right there. Now continuing counterclockwise, two has to go in one of these cells. Eight has to go in one of these cells by Sudoku. Six has to go in one of these cells by Sudoku. And there's actually a six in column four now, so we can place the six there. And then four is going to have to go in one of these cells. And because there's a four here, we're going to place the four. That in turn will place the two, which will place the eight because it can't be next to the two. Now our last edge region, we need to place a four in one of these cells. And there's a four in row six, so it will go here. Um, there is a two in one of these cells. And there's also an eight in one of these cells. So this is going to be a two eight pair. So six, if it were to go in any of these cells at all, it would be next to at least one other even number. So it is going to go right here. That leaves us with just two digits to place in the middle row. Those will be seven and one in that order. And also just two digits to place in the middle column, which will be, or not seven and one, nine and one in that order. I thought I was going crazy for a second there. Um, we need three and seven in this column, and we don't know the order of those exactly yet. And then we need to place our last two digits in the central region, two and eight in that order. Okay, now we need to place one, three, and nine here. That's a three, a seven, and a three. A one here, a nine, and a one. We need to place a seven and a nine there. Okay, now we need a three and a five in this column, and then a three and a seven to finish off this column. Now let's look at column seven. So here we need a five and a seven. So that's a five and a seven. And that's actually going to resolve that three seven pair and the three five pair at the same time. In this region, we need a one and a five, which are resolved. And in this region, we still need a seven and a nine, which are also resolved. We're just finishing up with our odd digits here. Last one in this row is a nine. Last row in the, one in this row is a one. Here, we still need a one and a five in that order. Here, we need a three and a seven. And here we need a five to finish the row. Our last two digits here will be a three and a nine. And here we need a seven to finish off the row. And we need to place a three and a five, and then we can resolve our three and seven. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's gas, no even neighbors. Hope you enjoyed that one. I definitely did. I thought that was very elegantly put together that flowed really well, quite a fast puzzle even for gas. If you wanna try it yourself, the link to solve it is in the description below this video. Enjoy.